Hey guys, Shambian. Yesterday, I think I watched the best match of the entire Summoners of World Championship in 2021 because it blew my mind and it was so, so good. It was between Big V and Thompson and Big V just upset everybody and it was the best thing to see. For the entire America Cup commentary, I will not post it because I was kind of half asleep half the time it was around 3 4 5 a.m and i think i was hallucinating at some point i'm not too sure i didn't really know what i was saying but this match was when i was still kind of conscious and it just blew my mind so i had to stay focused also there are people saying i copy big v konami strategy without crediting it and somehow i know about big v konami strat three days ago live on stream on twitch it's kind of crazy, right? How I would know a secret strategy three days ago. I enjoy reading YouTube comments because there are many people who want to support and leave a good comment and it makes my day. But sometimes these comments... <laughs> know your fucking place. But anyway, we are going into game two of the quarterfinal between Thompson and Big V. And uh, Thompson is definitely fan favorite here. And a lot of people are expecting him to win. So let's see how he's going to perform. All right. But Big V though. Underdog. You never know. Yeah. Big V got a big D. Wait, what? Hey, yo. Sean B, hold up. Good thing I'm not hired as commentator. huh? Can't be saying that on... on can't be saying that on an official live stream. These jokes, man. Way too overboard, Sean. Way too overboard. All right, what's the pre ban here? It's gonna be oh, Nikki pre ban. Let's go, <laughs> Nikki pre ban. I like that. Put some respect on Big VLD Nat Five. Okay, okay. All right, what's the first pick here? Okeanos. Because Thompson has a fast Okeanos. It's gonna be a CR first pick for Big V. I want to see how Big V beat Thompson so I can learn the way. Because I can never see myself beating Thompson. Alright, are we seeing Neftis, Hey Gang, Gianna? <laughs> we are seeing Gianna Chiu first thing. Chiu counter Hey Gang, so that's a pretty early step of saying, Big V, no Hey Gang for you today. You better pick a vert, buddy. It's a Big V. Two stripper for Thompson already. He's definitely gonna go dominating with Neftis with Monkey King, with Han, and that is looking real strong. So Big V is going to lock in that fast Triton as well to say that Thompson, you want to strip? I got an old man that strip faster than you. It's going to be the Triton here and the Okeanos follow up as well. He has the option for a Samap and last pick a Hey Gang, a Jogun, a Bearing, a lot of different options here. Thompson is going to go for the Monkey and the Neftis. Very classic Thompson draft here. We're having two stripper, two strong CC. Last week, Thompson has the Asher option to contest for speed if he wants to. Does he have a Wunsa? Big V's gonna go for the Jamaya Tableau combo. So even if Thompson banner Okeanos, Jamaya Tableau can still do some nasty damage and debuff on Thompson's side. All right, last thing for Thompson here. Is he gonna go with a Leo or is he gonna go for a Asher? to contest for speed. It's gonna go for a Ganymede here. Potentially a Swift Ganymede to catch Big V off guard. Yeah, potentially. So I think it's gonna be a Triton ban. It is going to be Gany ban. Gany or Chiwu ban? One of them has to be go going away immediately. I think it is, it is going to be a Triton ban. If Thompson wanna go turn one, right? He's thinking about it. It's going to be a Chiu ban. It's going to be a Triton ban here. Big V. Let's see how fast Big V is. Thompson. Sweating. Yeah. Okia knows how fast Okia knows it. But hey, might be a Surf Gany to catch Big V off guard here. Let's see. It is going to be a first turn for the Tableau here. So Big V looking like he's going to be doing a pretty good job controlling Thompson here. Unless he missed. You never know. Okia knows. Is old and crusty, yeah? Hands are sweaty. Here comes the mom spaghetti. But he land the strip, and here comes CR gonna drop the bomb on the Gany as well. 
and boom gan is down monkey is down reset for tableau going straight back at it again with the okeanos for another reset on potentially the nefters here can he do it here comes the Okeanos landing another strip on the Nephthys here. Sierra having another bomb ready. Miss on the Gany. Just like a Sierra on a casual Tuesday. Missing bomb is okay. We expected that. Jemai is going to go for the big damage on the Gany. Trying to finish it off. Gany is going to go down to the dots right there. And Monkey and Nephthys are both reset. They don't have their signature control. Oh. Oh no. Big V. Big V, you in some trouble right there. You got stunned and the monkey has skill 2 ready. That is looking like an AoE stun coming right there. Unless the Tableau do something about this. Okay. Tableau has a one chance. Oh wait. Okinos has another chance to stun too. So that's two chance. Here comes the stun for Oki. Land on everybody. Doesn't have to waste the Tableau stun just yet. Gonna go for the defense break. And the target. No, it's gonna go for the AoE as well. But get the violent proc after that. Wait, was that the double dice right there? And Jemaya getting the Violent Proc finish off the monkey as well. And I think that is GG. Big V going in with the big daddy damage. I like that. Thompson completely outspeed and controlled by Big V right there. And GG. Not bad. If that monkey stunned the Okeanos, <laughs> could have been a little bit different. A little bit. Okay. But the fact that Okeanos, oh my, Ciara, hold up, girl, stop missing bomb here. Game is over already. Come on, stop acting. <laughs> stop acting. So I think the German expert has said Thompson's going to win 3-0. Expert, huh? <laughs> Big V getting that game one here. Looking like a casual game for him as well. We are moving on to game two between Thompson and Big V. Let's see who's going to get first turn now. Thompson seeing that Big V is hella fast. Might be changing his strategy a little bit here. All right, what's going to be the pre-ban? I want to see a Triton pre-ban. Thompson be like, you're not outspeeding me no more. No more Triton for you. Triton Gianna pre-ban. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. You can't be running a, a Vio Gianna without an Escher to boost her up. Because Big V is not running a Bruiser Calm. Vio Gianna is really good against Bruiser Calm. But Big V is not about that. Big V is about the big Swift Rune, the big speed. Not about the big Molong Lulu out here, okay? It's gonna be the Monkey and the Tableau pre ban here, alright? Taking away Thompson's strongest follow-up. Taking away Big V Tableau. Very, very interesting. Let's see if that's going to be the first picking for Thompson. Ciara. Got to steal it away from Big V. Taking the speed lead away from him. But then... No, it's going to go for the Okiano steal here. Away from Big V. Which means Big V can have the choice for speed lead here. Might be going for Watery Yu Changpang. Potentially. Or Watery Yu Gany. Big V equal big velocity. True. <laughs> I think in other game language, speed is called VIT or something like that. In other languages. V-I-T. So big V is big speed in other languages. I don't know. Big V is going to go for mouse. Rocking the new Water Sky Surfer against Thompson. I like that. So, Water Sky Surfer has a passive that allows him to have amazing speed in turn 1. Potentially strip stun one target. I like to call him the single target Gianna. But whether he's stunned or not is a big gamble. So, I'm not sure about that Big V, but Big V is rocking the... What is that? I don't even know this... What? I need to check the name. What the hell is that? The Dark Raccoonie. And his name is... The name is Croa. Croa. Oh my god. So the skill is speed buff and healing over time. A little bit of single target control. So Big V is going to go for some protection here. Very interesting. 
just very interesting. So last week of Big V, what is it going to be here? It's gonna... Big Daddy V with the cone. That's my next YouTube video. Big Daddy V with the... With the... Hey, yo. Dude, Thompson, I, I feel you, bro. I'm, I'm feeling the same way. What the hell am I watching? I think everything over there is to boost mouse damage. Watch. Okay? Ash. Wait, mouse not moving. Disappointed. Hey, yo, hey, you're supposed to be moving first and like constantly moving. What's going on, Big V? No stun? No stun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, looking bad for looking bad for Thompson here. No stun, which means they are moving. And that mouse is gonna do a lot of damage right there. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's see who's gonna violent proc here. Okay, mouse do a lot of damage by the way because his damage ignore defense and scale with his speed. And right there with glance, oh the Konami of violent proc. It's gonna go for the speed attack buff maybe on the cleanse. It's gonna be the cleanse on the entire team. So Thompson debuff is all gone now. The stun is used. The Neftis is used. What does Thompson has? Nothing. What does Big V had? A big di okay. Sean, hold up. It's gonna be Mouse with a lot of damage right here. This is looking real bad for, for Thompson because Mouse has speed buff and healing over time if he wants to. And that can do a lot of work for Mouse. Okay, Thompson's proccing that violent. Proccing that violent, okay. Trying to get that skill 3 back, skill 2 back. Because that's the only thing that... That beautiful stun on Gianna as well. And right now... Big V can start buffing. That's the most important thing. You have to stun the Gianna before you start buffing. And with a lot of buff for Mouse, Mouse can do a lot of damage. Konamiya with the boost and the stun. Ah, oh, missed the chance of stun right there. And right now, Gianna's gonna go down. And after Gianna go down, what is Thompson damage? Not a whole lot. Because even though Okeanos of Thompson can be built very, very well, we are seeing three water unit here and a lot of healers. A lot of healers. So here comes the buff for Mouse and he's moving, zooming past everything. Look at how fast that Mouse is getting attack bar. And look at the damage, okay? It's gonna be a lot of damage. The damage is a Mouse ahead of Okeanos. 12k on Gianna. Complete. Another boost for Mouse. Boom, 12k on the Nephthys. And he, he ain't stopping. He fast AF, okay? Oh my god. The strategy with Big V, Big Daddy V, is dominating Thompson with what we call the weirdest team of Summoners or History. 12, 13,000 damage on the Nephthys, easily. Right now, Okinus has one small opportunity to win. But what if Kona Violent proc? All right, pack it up, boys. Pack it up. Big Daddy V with the GG, baby. Big Daddy V with the GG. Look at him smiling, smugging. He got that strat. He got that strat Save for Thompson right there. I think the German expert who said 3-0 about his match was talking about Big Daddy V right there. Oh my God. Oh my god. Insane. Absolutely insane. The the Konobia strat? The 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 Croa strat What is going on right now? This is crazy. Yeah, this is kinda crazy. Big claps, man. Big you can't counter this because what is that who That's not in the book. He's not going by the textbook. He's going by his own textbook. Big V is writing history as he's playing right now. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. We're going to see an Okeanos and the Ragdoll pre ban here. Let's see if Big V is going to go for the same strat here, potentially. All right, first pick. What is it going to be? Lulu? 
No, it's gonna be Nicky. Big V with a different strat again. He's showing us he's gonna win Thompson in three different way with three different strat. And each one of them is gonna knock you off your socks. Is that a saying? I have no idea. But anyway, Big V is gonna go for Water Ryu and Ganny here potentially, or Water Ryu Savannah. I wanna see that cleave calm. Come on, man, don't disappoint me. I wanna see that fast cleave calm, man, with the Nicky. Yeah? But can he cleave Thompson though? It's gonna be a big statement if he can. Tablo Jemaya, Water Ryu, Savannah. Huh? I mean, Big V, he, he, he do whatever he wants. He's the GOAT, okay? He is the GOAT. And Thompson's gonna go for Gianna and Lulu here. Settling for turn two. Exactly what Big V wanted. He's walking right into Big V trap right here. Oh my God. I can feel the plan moving all together into this masterpiece of a cleave. Are you kidding me? Kona me? Oh, Yo, that's my YouTube video, man. I literally just uploaded a Kona me a YouTube video. And now I'm seeing Kona Mia in front of me. This is crazy. <laughs> Big Daddy V with another Kona Mia? Hey, yo. Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> I haven't even uploaded the video yet. And here is the entire last pick to counter the Diana. Nikki getting banned now. Chung Peng getting banned now. The thing about Kona Mia is pretty good against Karno because it's water. Right? But, oh. Wow. Wow. Going to be not on Will Runes to counter Gianna as well. All these units are built. I think just, just for Thompson, baby. Okay, but uh, it's kind of too fast for Thompson now. Since he's kind of on a, on a slow, slow build here. So, um, they can't really do much after turn 1. So, this Antara is going to go for some damage on the Diana. Bomb onto the Antares doing 14k. Pretty casual bomb right there. Dropping some heat onto the enemy team. Now, everything depends on the Karno. Okay? There are two water unit. They both can cleanse debuff. They are probably max resist. But doesn't really matter, you know? Thompson has max accuracy. So Karno. See? Thompson's like sweating. He gotta hit that stun. He gonna hit that stun, boy. You don't hit that stun, you lose. And, um, shit. <laughs> that Kona looking kind of scary. That Kona. That Kona looking kind of scary right there. Oh my god. I think it's over. All the damage from Gianna. Doesn't matter. Gianna damage doesn't matter. Okay? Because there's a cleanser on the field. And here comes Kona. Gonna hit that quick cleanse. Violent proc into a research? No. If he violent proc into a research for attack buff bomb, that's gonna be crazy. Ooh, missing that bomb is kinda crucial though. Because Antares is still a very big threat on the side of Thompson here. But you never know what Annabelle and Sleep Proc can do to a man. Here comes the Water Guardian for defense break. No violent proc. Here comes Karno trying to save the day, doing damage on the Diana. But I think it's okay. Because Dinah is heavily controlled by the Karno and Dantaris right now. So I think Dinah can die. The only thing that matters right now is this CR has to go for the finishing move on the Antares. But Thompson, no. He's not giving Big V a chance to do that. So the Antares is going to stay for a little further. Okay. Here comes Ciara. I think she has to finish the, the Gianna right now. It's too much. Oh, that proc out of immunity. Big stun on a Ciara though. That is huge. But all this bomb damage will be gone because Annabelle still have the cleansing ready. And Konamiya has the attack buff ready for the Ciara to finish off the Antares as well. Big, big, big stun on the Antares. Boost itself, trying to get the cleanse back. Wasted a violent proc right there. Missed the stun on the, C on the Gianna as well. Big miss right there. 
Things are looking real bad for Big V, but still has a bomb ready for the Antares right here. But does he want to save the bomb with attack buff though? Not gonna save it, gonna drop that heat immediately onto the Antares. Gonna go for the stun as well. But barely enough, the Antares has around 30,000 HP. Very tanky. The Kona has the cleanse ready, so the bomb doesn't really matter. The power of double cleanser with lower cooldown like Kona Mia is really strong against Gianna. Why? Just Kona Mia things. Really strong. Okay, he has the boost ready, gonna boost the, G the CR right here. Doesn't have a bomb ready, but does have a lot of damage with the attack buff right there. Bomb onto the Antares again. If this Annabelle sleeps something, it's gonna be bad for Thompson. Here comes the Annabelle, collapse cheeks. Yeah, suddenly the match is not looking too good for Thompson. <laughs> okay. CR doesn't have bomb ready, but you know what is ready? The Kona Mia boost. And if this thing fails to stun... Oh, no boost ready for Kona Mia yet, but can stun the Antares though, maybe? No stun. Oh, the Antares trying to save the day here with a big damage onto the Ciara here. And the CR is not looking too hard. Can die any second now to even the Lulu attack. Saved by the bell right there with the Ciara. Gonna drop that heat onto the Karno maybe? Gonna drop that heat onto the Lulu. Probably gonna detonate as well for the damage here. Doing some very good damage. And this Kona can potentially save the game for Big V. Nope. The entire is gonna say no more CR showcase here. But these two water unit are very tough for Karno and Antares to deal with. They both have healing. They both have control. They both can violent proc to no end. But Antares proccing again, doing damage and stunning the Kona. And the Lulu get the violent proc as well. Not looking too good for Big V though. But one heal from the Annabelle can bring back the team to full HP here. Will she do that? Gonna go for the quick little prayer from the girl. But right now the immunity from Lulu is gonna protect the team from the Annabelle defense break. Which is very crucial by the way. That defense break is much needed for Big V to finish the match, but Thompson is holding on the alive with the Antares prop. So let's see who's gonna lose immunity first. Here comes the AoE from the Bison, didn't really do a whole lot. And Annabelle's doing some good damage onto the Antares, but all the Antares return fire is also really, really strong damage. But the Annabelle has. Oh my god. I was about to say she has attack bar from the Nemesis rune, but not looking like she's gonna survive anytime soon. And here comes the heal from the Konamiya. Annabelle is need... She need a proc right here, or else she's gonna go away. Because I feel the entire is coming for her. Damn. Saved by the bell again. And here comes the Lulu healing the Karno. But right now, this Antares is naked. No immunity. Still got procs though. No stun, and this defense break, together with a quick violent proc, can be devastating. No violent proc for the Annabelle right here. And here comes the provoke from the Bison. But she can sleep the Bison to get back to it though. No sleeping. Kona, can you stun the Antares or the Bison? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see the Kona here. This is going to be the deciding moment for the game right now. Big stun onto the Antares, but didn't have the chance to stop the Karno. So this is GG. Wow. These two water units gave Thompson a run for his money right there. And we're going to a game four. Wow, wow, wow. Big Daddy V with the scary draft right there. Crazy. Game four. <clears throat> oh my god. This is getting real intense. Because we don't know what Big V is going to bring out. I want to see a Kona Mia pre <laughs> No, just kidding. That's too much. Okay, Nikki pre ban Just do the thing. But Big V though. I think we might pre ban a Chang Pang here. Yeah. Either Neftis or Chang Pang pre ban I think. It's going to be the Monkey Steel. It's going to be the Tablo Steel. So Thompson, seeing how fast the Tablo was, he didn't want to get out sped anytime soon. So Thompson. This is where he, he was completely shocked by the mouse. Would it happen again? Would it happen again? Thompson. He knows something tricky is coming. So will he go for the same draft or is he going to switch it up a little bit? 
Oh my god, it's crazy. Big V. Sierra first pick for Thompson. Pretty standard stuff here. I don't think he's going to go for that strat again, right? You can't use that twice on the same person. I don't think so. Let's see what Big V has to offer here. He's thinking about it. No way. Ah, oh, he's going to go for Okeanos here. And he's going to bring out the good old Gianna. You know, just just bring out Gianna. Didn't, didn't really need it the previous game. B tier unit, you know what I'm saying? Get the Gianna first pick here for Big V. Thompson with the Hay game to counter the Gianna. And the Nephthys for the speed lead. Pretty standard stuff as well. We might be seeing a Triton and a speed lead from Big V. So maybe a Triton, maybe pull out a Tyrone, I don't know. Big V with a hidden strat, man. You never know. It So it's going to be a Triton and a speed lead as predicted for Big V. So Thompson seeing this is like, oh, damn it. He's got a Triton to counter my Hey Gang. I might have to pick up a Vert here. Or he's going to pick up a Ragdoll and maybe a Pontos. I don't know. Thompson has a lot of LD. Oh my god, it's a Ragdoll and a Lulu. So Big V seeing this. Oh my god, I have to ban either the Ragdoll or the Hey Gang so that my team can work. So let's see what. It's going to be the last pick here. Diana, potentially. Is it going to be Diana or not? Because I don't know Big V anymore, man. Feels like a whole different person here. Gonna rock that Water Monkey King though? Really? It's going to be a Charlotte. So we're going to see potentially a Hay Gang ban, and he is confident that his Trident will not crit, and Big V will control the game from then on. That's that's what happened. I've seen that before. All right, I see here. Thompson, I think he has to ban the Charlotte or the Triton here. I think it's going to be a Charlotte ban. Right? It's going to be Okeanos ban, interestingly. He, he has a Lulu. Oh, if this Charlotte go crazy, it's going to be hard to recover. Yeah, real hard. All right, one game that looks like a normal game, finally. <laughs> finally, a game that looks like a normal game. First turn belongs to the Triton. Going to go for the pushback here, the usual stuff. Get the pushback. Miss the Nephthys, though. Oh, that is bad. Neft is going to silence Gianna, so no bomb damage from Gianna. The enemy Sierra is moving as well, so the Gianna is going to go away. This game is not looking good for Big V, because out of the gate, he lost his Gianna already. And Charlotte being, you know, pretty good, but... Oh my god, triple stun from Charlotte. But how do you control that Lulu? How do you even kill the Lulu without damage like this? So let's see if this map is going to bring some magic to the table for Big V. Here comes the damage. Doesn't really get anything. And Lulu is going to send everybody back to the swear one. And GG. Yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Because Big V used all his skill already. He, he's out of juice. Big V is now dried. And Thompson is full of juice. <laughs> With Ragdoll, Lulu, Ciara, I, I, I think it's pretty much it. It's over. GG. The thing about Charlotte is that her alone is not enough as a control unit. It's just not enough. Yep. And I think um I think that's pretty much it, boys. We pack it up and go for game five. Pack it up. Oh, he's still fighting though. Oh, that's stun though. Maybe? No way. This is the map we have a hard time killing even a Sierra alone. I mean... How can he come back from this? Can he really come back from this? No way. Really? Nah. This bomb land... GG. Alright, I think that's over. There's no way a Samaf return damage will do anything. How does this thing quad stun on a violent prop? I mean, Vile Bill. 
That is insane. Yeah. All right. Big damage. If this Samav win, I'll eat a shoe. Okay. If this Samav somehow win this game, I'll eat a shoe right now. Yeah, dude. Samav winning? Nah. Nah, no shot, dude. No shot. Hey, yo. Yo, yo, thing. You think Samaf's gonna win? Nah, dude. No shot. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Last game between Thompson and Big V. Oh my god, this is actually kind of interesting. Kind of really interesting. Crazy. <laughs> Will we see Thompson winning though? Because I think a lot of people bet their money on Thompson in the prediction thing, event thing. So what if Big V pull out another weird strat this time and win the game? You never know. Let's see. First pick for Big V. Gonna go for Nikki once again. Oh my god. Nikki, man. I wanna see that cleave, bro. Okay, what would Thompson do? No, nah, the, the, the usual, they're going with the usual. Oh, switching the Karno away for the monkey though. But still the usual, nothing crazy here, huh? yet. Big V is gonna go for the turn one here. It's gonna be the Triton and the other monkey. The poor man monkey. So Thompson, seeing that you are losing turn one to Big Daddy V, will you take the Samav? And a stripper, some F Chiu draft right here, potentially. And then last pick into, uh, I don't know, Gianna? No, it's gonna go turn two actually. It's gonna go for the Lulu draft. And a Han, so he's saving that last pick Gianna. I think Big V is seeing it coming. So right now he has two options. He can steal the Gianna. <laughs> he take the Gianna. Might take a Chiwu here. No, you don't need a Chiwu anymore. You need a speed lead. But Samaf, not very good though. I, It's gonna be a Ciara. Okay. Thompson seeing this has to pick a bearing maybe. But now he's locked in that turn two position. Big Daddy V got it coming. It's looking real bad for Thompson here, I think. You gotta ban out, I think, Nikki. And wish the bomb would not land on you. And pick a Diana to shit on the Monkey King, potentially. But I don't know. Thompson has a lot of LD. Who knows what he's gonna bring out? Oh wait. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Textbook. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be Dinah last week for Thompson here, and probably gonna be uh, Dinah Ban and the oh Gianna Ban, Dinah Ban and Gianna Ban. All right. So Thompson, he's gonna take a lot of damage though. I'm not sure Thompson can survive this. It's gonna be a tough game. It's gonna be a tough, tough game. Here comes the Triton. If he land the pushback, it's looking real rough for Thompson because Big Daddy V is here with a belt. Oh, crab cakes. Miss. But Big Daddy V team is very speed tuned. So that monkey is going away. That monkey is really going away. All right, big damage. The monkey died almost from the AoE splash damage. And... And I think it's Big Daddy V. GG. Big Daddy V with the cleave. I think Thompson locking in that Lulu draft was... Uh, I would say he walked right into Big V trap right there. I think it's GG. You can't go, go back from this. It's over. Big V moving on. Yeah? Big V moving on. I mean, the moment I saw the Lulu, I know it's gonna happen. The cleave is happening already. He locked himself into that turn two, and Big V has the option to go with the Nikki cleave. It's over. Ah, <sighs> sad. I think if you change the Lulu to a Belio to cut in between, I think that would be pretty nice.
too late to switch to true whale predict. Gosh darn it. I shall pick big V, bro. Okay? We shall pick big V. Big dad, look at this. Chat energy exuding from the man. But um GG. Wow. Hey. I don't know, man, but Big V, if he wins the entire thing, I'm the most happy for it, okay? He got that weird-ass draft I loved. Big V is just amazing, yeah? I love to see that. He got the Nikki Cleave. He got the weird-ass Konamiya draft. What else do you ask for, yeah? He, he got all the weird stuff, and I love it. And I love it. Big, big, big V just got the big daddy energy, yeah? Well played. Well freaking played. Look at this. Look at this team you're watching on the screen right now. That is insane. Absolutely insane. It shows the understanding of the game. It shows that you're confident that your draft is going to counter the enemy draft. And the corner violent proc, which is cherry on top. Yeah? Very nice. Very, very nice. Well played, dude. Well played. I love to see it. I wonder what he's gonna save up for other contestants though. 